Hello, everyone. It's Janie. How are you? It's good to see you, and I hope you are well. Lori Latte is so cute. When she does her makeup a certain way, she shows it off and she's proud and she'll say, don't I look fantastic and look at this, you know. And I love that. I have a little more makeup on than normal because we are going out for dinner. So I'll be heading out in a little while. So I am going to be showing you something that I think you're really going to like. It is July of 1984. Vogue. Vogue. And I look at these covers and look how perfect. I mean, there isn't a line. There isn't a pore. It is the 80s had so many memorable styles and fashion um, hmm, trends. And, you know, I kind of remember doing some of these things, mainly the big hair, a lot of makeup, big shoulder pads, big fluffy blouses, you know, with a great big everything, ruffles, lots of ruffles. And, you know, that's what these magazines sold. So it's what we did. I look at this cover, and again, it's just so flawless. Um, lights, uh, editing, touch up, whatever that is, but that's a magazine. So here are some of the highlights that they've got featured. A great new season with easygoing fashion, 100 best looks from New York, Paris, and Milan, shoe excitement, your hair, all out international report, experts on style, color, and care. Okay, and then the back is Makeup Max Factor. So I'm gonna go ahead and get the camera in position and walk through this with you. I have not looked through this, so my reactions are, as you hear them, I just don't spend time, you know, going through it first and making any notes, so that's just me. Okay, let's get going. Let's go to July of 1984. Okay, here is our Vogue magazine. I don't know what this first means, and I can't really find anything, you know, Googling it. So if you know, let me know. Um, something I do know about Vogue is that it first came out in 1892. Isn't that incredible? I'd like to get my hands on that magazine and do a walkthrough with you. So let's go ahead and get started here. So I remember this, act, um, this model. Her name was Kim Alexis. And I just thought she was so gorgeous and she has a very winning smile. Okay, a big double page of hair, HDR, hair's 
daily requirements. I do not remember this, I can tell you. Okay, Bloomingdale's. Now remember, in the 80s, it was a very um, affluent marketing time in terms of, you know, buying a lot. Um, there was like a boom of shopping and keeping up with the Joneses, I'd say, you know, and going out and just spending more than what you had, trying to look like, you know, uh, lifestyles of the rich and famous. Eileen West. <laughs> so this dress was quite popular and it had that drop waist. And I used to have a few dresses like this, kind of big. It hides your curves, that's for sure. And it had this drop waist. Marshall Fields shoes. Those are very classic. I like those. These are cute too. Those would be really nice with some slacks. And those are from Nordstrom. Designers um, were really, really coming out. I mean, DoorDash, Pierre Cadon, Perry Ellis, um, you know, getting designer names became more and more popular. Whereas I don't remember that in the 70s. We had things like, um, you know, our shoes. We had Birkenstocks and um, Levi's, uh, candies, the shoes, candies. But it wasn't high-end designers that I remember. Estee Lauder mascara. Truly waterproof. Oops, I think I missed something here. I did. Okay, so Gucci. I had never heard of Gucci in the 70s. These Gucci watches are $195 each. Wow. Lena Lee, I don't know this. Wow, that's an extravagant boot. Very extravagant animal print. And... Okay, Lancome. Again, I started knowing about this kind of brand in the 80s. I think she has aged into a beautiful older woman. Um, Okay, this is eyeshadow, <laughs> very pink. Saks Fifth Avenue, Ballet of Switzerland, the difference between dressed and well-dressed. Hmm, wow. This is what I imagine people looked like in Geneva in the 80s, very, very well-dressed. And then the hair, the big swirls and swooshes, <laughs> lots of body. I used to use a lot of mousse and gel and do this with my hair as well. And I had a lot of hair. I still have a lot of hair, but I don't do this <laughs> anymore. City's shoes. I don't remember them. Yvonne Pecon shoes. This is a very classic brand. Yvonne Pecon. Oh, look at this. Look at that. That's exactly what I'm talking about. Flora Coombe. But oh, look at these shoulder pads and all that fabric. <laughs> and the big hair and the big makeup. Talk about contouring. I Magnin again. These were brands I couldn't afford. No way, not in the 80s. 
Anais, Anais, that was a, oh, perfumes were really becoming, uh, designer perfumes were becoming very popular. And that was one, and I had that one. Big, long, red nails. Bullocks. Bullocks. Neiman Marcus. Yeah, see, these are higher end. And I know Vogue specializes in higher end fashion, even today. But I remember wanting to be like that. But I couldn't afford something like this. And that's one of the reasons I sewed. I sewed in the 70s and 80s and made my own clothes. And I could easily make that. I know it. Bruno Mali. I do have a pair of Bruno Mali shoes and they are so comfortable. They're Italian. Like Redken. Redken hair. Neiman Marcus shoes. These are cute. I would wear those today. Ooh, wow. $295 back then. So you guys are good at telling me what that would be in today's price. So what would these, what would $295 be in from two, uh, 1984? Tell me. Oh my gosh. So the big glasses, the big glasses with lots of makeup. So 1980s. Big jeweled earrings. Vidal Sassoon. Now, I have to tell you, I don't know if they still sell this. Maybe you could tell me this, but I love the smell of Vidal Sassoon shampoo and conditioner. This is gel and mousse to get these great big looks. Look at this. Look at this. Wow. So much work goes into that. But I love the smell of the of the shampoo and conditioner. Merle Norman makeup. Sally Hansen, and that that is still in today's shop. Sally Hansen nail polish. Oh, and hair removal. And cigarettes. Yep. You know, smoking was cool. Was, you were cool. I tried to smoke, you know, but it just, it didn't suit me. You know, made me sick. Bohm and Mercier watches. I don't quite remember that. Carolini. Hmm. So these are the movies that people are talking about. Diner um, with Mickey Rourke. The Pope of Greenwich Village. Wow, Eric Roberts. Splash with Daryl Hannah. That was a good movie. I liked that. Mm. So art. A Day in the Country, Impressionism and the French Landscape. This is in the Lo Los Angeles County Museum of Art. I love French Impressionism. Wow. I would have loved to have seen something like that. Surrealists. And more cigarettes. Sterling. Look how elegant that box is. There's even like a crest, you know. Mm -hmm. It's only a cigarette, like Steinway is only a piano. And Wrangler, Wrangler brand jeans. Paul Mitchell. I remember starting to use Paul Mitchell styling things and sculpting sprays. Okay, and on TV, 
Let's see, eight minutes to midnight. I don't know that. Um, I don't know it. Oh, I guess it was on PB PBS. Theater. Steppenwolf. Okay. <laughs> Interesting. So they show this handsome guy and beautiful woman sitting on the beach and she's painting and the ad is for gin but neither of them are drinking anything oh this hair look at this that is 1984 lots of makeup big hair and lots of rhinestones. Big and glitter. Spiegel. Spiegel. I liked that catalog. And I don't think they're in business anymore. This is a very classic Spiegel look from the 80s. You know, the long wool plaid skirt, the vest, a shirt, and a big coat over. But again, affluence was really pushed at us. So shampoo, but condition. I used this condition and it was good. It was good. And here she is, Kim Alexis, the cover model. Interesting that they do a lot of black and white. Ooh, portables. Um, so, kind of a portable survival kit of little things you need, brushes, toothbrushes, all these things, interesting, and cigarettes, of course. Did they put warnings? Yes, they're starting to put warnings on, at least. And then Q&A for beauty. I had a perm recently that looked wonderful for a few days. It didn't last. What could be the problem? You may have conditioner buildup, this person says. And, um, hmm, interesting. And I used to get perms too, and that helped your hair hold those big, big hairdos. Flimby, I don't know this. It's a salon. Let's see, Lancaster Sun Care System. Hmm, what is it? Sun Care System must be a cream. Yeah, Sun Face Cream. Now, Again, getting dark in the 80s was encouraged. More cigarettes. It tastes too good to be true. <laughs> Look at this. Okay, shampoo and conditioner for permed hair. Permasoft. But look at this big, big hair. Look at that big hair. Big and that big full soft look. Or you had structured, you know, that harder look. Salons. Wow. Interesting how they advertise salons here. I don't see that so much in today's magazines, right? 
Okay, therapy and relationships. Coping with stress and the value of hope. I like that. The emotional risks of social drinking. Women who have recurring problems with anger, depression, and anxiety might do well to stop drinking alcohol, even in moderate amounts. Hmm. So social drinking, um, some of these women find that negative feelings can jump appreciably. And so drink, drinking seems to have emotional after effects as well as physical after effects. So they recommend not drinking. And I like that. I mean, if drinking alcohol doesn't suit you, you know, then you shouldn't do it. I'm really fortunate that, you know, and I'm a winemaker. I've been a winemaker. Um, you know, I a, a glass, maybe two, is my max. I can't drink more than that. So, and I'm, you know, I've kind of really got used to, you know, tasting, swirling, and spitting. So, bandolinos. And women wore stockings. We didn't have bare legs in the 80s that I remember. Okay, so this is Carefree Curl. Hmm. So, for soft, carefree curls. Okay, so Copper Tone. The non-greasy way to a beautiful tan. <laughs> the highest SPF they have is a 15. Exercise. I remember jazzercise was something that was very, very popular, and I did it as well. And I'd go three or four times a week. And, oh, man, those workouts. Ugh. And we'd wear a leotard and leg warmers or ankle warmers. Jacques Cohen shoes. More cigarettes. <laughs> They're a friendly threesome. That's all I gotta say about that. Ah, uh, look at that. So these are boots with the ankle warmers as the tall part. Okay. Yes, lots of drapey fabric. This is Saks Fifth Avenue. And uh, that color, that purple. And I used to have lots of things in this color. And my eyeshadow, I had purple eyeshadow. That would match. Deodorant pads. Okay. How does Washington's political set maintain low weight and high profile on the official party circuit? Hmm. So you have to take people out to dinner for business, but how do you watch your weight? Hmm. So define the boundaries of what you will and won't eat in advance. Don't eat anything on impulse. Don't stand near a buffet table. And remember that all eating occurs in a context. <laughs> okay. Water pills were very popular for weight loss. Oh, trying to be thinner. Women and cars. As a driver, you're way ahead if you're a good diagnostician. Um, 
but here are seven signs of trouble. And so they talk about the oil light, the hot light, odors, sounds, screeching, steering problems. Hmm. I think this is Christina Ferrari. I think her name was. I think that's pretty. I like this outfit, but very 80s with a big shoulder pad. Mm. Next time you give her a diamond, round it off to the nearest carrot. Whew, look at that sucker. A full carrot gets her undivided attention. There you go. <laughs> okay, summer fun with summer fun color and cuts with built-in ease, a new emphasis on healthy looking hair. This is makeup, some makeup colors it says, right? Yeah, so just different eye Makeups and polishes. And then articles like this. I'd be all over. A lot of people were all over. Diet aid alert. The fat emulsifier, lecithin, is a natural substance in eggs, soybeans, liver, and nuts. And an additive in chocolate, mayonnaise, and some baked goods. And it's used as a diet aid by many people. Lecithin concentrates as pills, capsules, or granules are sold in health food stores and are available at vitamin counters. And so anyway, it's, you know, promoting lecithin as a diet aid. Uh, pregnancy tests. Interesting. Look at with the bunny. More cigarettes. Virginia Slims. Okay. Let's look at the horoscope for Pisces. That's mine. Catherine Oxenberg. She was so pretty. She was on one of those soap operas, Dynasty, maybe? Okay, Pisces, spend as much time in your true home, the water, as possible this month to gain the stamina you need to survive the rounds of entertaining. Fitness becomes its own reward towards the end of the month as the demands of work and play pose an extra challenge. A summer romance could keep you from worrying about career struggles. Both of your ruling planets, Jupiter and Neptune, hold back promotion until fall. Sorry. No. Prell shampoo. I still can smell this. Wow. I have such scent memories with these things. Okay, interviewing an author. Different books that are out. Okay, the problem solver in skincare, Clarin. They still have this. I just saw that in um, in Switzerland when we were shopping for some things. More cigarettes. Okay, books in vogue. Let's see. Widower, I don't remember that. Uh, let's see, the only problem, I don't remember that either. Oh, these. 
Classics on Cassettes, 11 for $1, Columbia Music Club. I I was a member of this. It started off with the um, record, uh, you know, club, and it went to tapes. 5th Avenue Maternity. Maternity clothes back in the 80s were just, you know, they were not that cute. Oh my goodness, I really like this. It is very 80s with, again, lots of fabric. Um, but I really like this, I like this color. I think I'd wear that today, I don't know. I might get lost in it because I'm smaller and this is kind of for like a taller person, I think. I might look like a drapery rod, you know, wearing all this fabric. That's the thing about being, you know, small or short and petite. Some of these things don't translate well. Like this. Holy moly. Look, at that's enough fabric to outfit an entire house with drapes. The slacks are nice, but wow, look at all that. And more cigarettes. Yep, very 80s smoking while working. Very 80s, my God. I know I keep saying that, but wow. Call the UK for $1.25 for the first minute. You know, for you people who don't remember weren't born during the time, the 70s, 60s, 70s, and 80s, when we had to make phone calls like late at night because you got charged by the minute. We didn't have cell phones. Um, and so to call the UK or Ireland a dollar twenty-five, and then every minute after was 76 cents a minute. So that adds up really fast. Oh boy. So the standard is $2.08 for the first minute, and every additional minute is $1.26, and that's from 7 a.m. to 1 p.m. So, and then it goes down to later at night that you call. So somebody, I want you to tell me the conversion rate from 1984 to today. What is $2.08 a minute? And for the first minute, and then a dollar twenty-six per minute. What is that in today's? That's why you made your phone calls quick, and you had your notes. You hit your points. You didn't just dally on the phone. Silk, just simple silk slacks, and a simple silk tee. Wow, this looks beautiful. Le Manoir au Croissant near Oxford. I, I, that's my goal. I want to get to the UK. Um, I've been through London, but I really want to do a UK tour. We watch, um, you know, Lewis. We watched Morse, and we watched Endeavor, and they all take place in Oxford. And I really want to go there. I see a lot of people too. Visit these country hotels. Okay, this is how we used to get lots of different catalogs. You couldn't sign up for them online, you had to send away for them. So you would get something like this, and very, ah, here it is. You would cut this out and check off which ones you wanted. And then you put in the cost for each one, and it tells you how much you had to pay for these. So, for instance, let's see, the Getting Jenny. This is a $7 catalog 
uh, Bloomingdale's was $3. Um, very often that would go toward your first purchase. Um, so anyway, that's this is how you would get catalogs sent to you. Sebastian Artistic Center's hair salons. And this is more of the country hotels in Britain. Vogue Travel. Oh, so you could write away, write for information on what they talked about in that article. Wow, look at those shoes. Wow. Those are interesting. Okay, more shoes. <laughs> more cigarettes. Very beautiful nature scene. Benson and Hedges. Ultra Deluxe Ultra Lights. Okay. The best of wines. Mm. Great Bordeaux's you can count on. Hmm. I always like Talbot's. Very classic. This is going to be a long video. Wow. Hmm. Albert Nippon footwear. I think I said that right. LA's hottest new restaurants, where stargazing is fast giving way to four star mania. House and Garden. Yes, this is a very classic 80s color scheme. Entertaining. Okay, becoming the Martha Stewart's. Oh, I tried. And more cigarettes. <laughs> And alcohol. At least they're drinking it. Beefy your chin. The crown jewel of England. Head and shoulders. New fragrance. <laughs> That's good because it stunk. Okay, now, London's new beat. Look at the fabric. Look at all this. That's the size of a bedspread. That's a cute hat. But golly, look at all that fabric. This is cute. That's something I would have worn. Bikini Bear. There was something that came out, I think it was in the 70s, called Nair, and maybe they still have it. And you painted it all over your legs to get the hair off your legs. Bruno Mali. Hmm. Blail. I don't know this brand. Hmm. Very classic. Wow. <laughs> Look at this car. Lincoln Continental. Women photographers. This whole article about them. Oscar De La Renta's. Wow. Oh my goodness. Look at this. Look at this. Wow. Versace. Gianni Versace. Gianni Versace. Ah, uh, this was the ad of all ads. Bain de Soleil for the Saint Tropez tan. And trying to get that dark, dark, dark tan. Oh my gosh. 
I tried and I did because I'm actually quite olive so I do get dark very easily and I remember my stomach used to be so dark. People in fashion talking about what's coming. Hmm. Interesting. Ooh, that's pretty. I like that. Okay. Okay, so what's coming this fall? Everything starts at the shoulder. Shoulders now are stronger, squarer, broader. Two to three inches broader than last year. Wow. Great year for coats. Lots and lots of big, straight line, double-breasted coats, tailored like a man's overcoat. Let's see, trousers, um, texture, hair. Shorter hair, but big and full. Huh. Okay, Perry Ellis, very colorful. Jeffrey Bean. <laughs> Holy moly, look at all that fabric. Wow. Can you imagine packing that to go somewhere? That's cute. That looks like me now. This is very often how I dress. of that lame and sequins and you know goldy bright gold and bright metally looking clothes so look at this all right how much for this let's see blouse and skirt okay okay so okay this is oscar de la renta this jacket is Black and gold sequin jacket with over a gold silk lame blouse and skirt. The jacket is $3,000. The blouse and skirt, $1,100. Please tell me what that is in today's money. Wow, that jacket, $3,000. Okay. Lots of fancy pantyhose, stockings, you know, that was very popular. Look at that. The designs, the big, shiny shoes. Okay, so supposedly looks from Paris. Because she's got a beret on of some kind. They call it a Parisian look. <laughs> I do like these soft colors that I do like. I like black and pink. Oh, I love this. I love this. Kind of a, um, I, I adore this look. I really do. Shoulders, big shoulders. I like this jacket a lot. Hmm. Interesting, this level of sophistication in low heeled shoes and ankle boots. This is all about, wowee, $1,200 for these pants. Whoa, wow. That's what gets me is the price of these things. 
And you know what? If you look at today's Vogue or any high-end magazine, the prices of those things are crazy as well. I do love these colors, these browns. That is really pretty. Okay, this is a guy, the guy who wrote um, Glen Gary, Glen Ross, the Olympics, all about the Olympics, women to watch. Mm. Interesting. This Polish artist. Wow. Look at that. How incredible. <laughs> the music. Oh my goodness. Lennox from the Eurythmics. Transatlantic love. <laughs> it's kind of like everything British. Art Malik. Oh yes, the jewel in the crown. Oh, oh and Rupert, um, what was his name? So handsome. Rupert Everett. Super handsome dude. And how the English mind their manners. Oh, look how gorgeous English manners. Wow. Look at this. Isn't that magnificent? The main hall. Look at this kitchen. It reminds me a little bit of the villa that we stayed in in Lucca, Italy. Heavy, rich. Lots of tapestry. Okay. Oh, I like Liz Smith. She was a great um, reporter. Yeah. Mm, hair, 1984. Let's look at hair. Big, sticking out. Very big or very structured, very, you know, some sort of design to the hair. I think I just wore a ponytail a lot, or I had big, long, permed hair. I'll find a picture somewhere. I just saw one. Where was it? I'll, I know where it is. I'll show you. We have a lot of things still in boxes. I'll put it in this. I'll show you. New ways to cut and style hair. Oh my goodness. Okay, Milan. Styles from Milan. New coats. Okay, Giorgio Armani. This coat is 1100 Wow, $1,100. $950. Oh my goodness, look at, look at, this must weigh 50 pounds. All this fabric, wow. It's, um, shearling. So this is heavy wool, silk, sheep. Oh my goodness. Even the short, kind of like the bomber jacket, is big and has the big shoulders as well. Very mannish is what they were trying, the look they're trying to do. Johnny Versace. 
here. Valentino here. Whoa, textured fur from Fendi. Furs, sadly, were very big in the 80s. And a lot of people owned fox and, oh my gosh, um, rabbit and all kinds of fur. I'm glad fur has gone out. Very glad. Okay, Germac. Jer I remember that. Hair. Um, hair products. <laughs> Mary Decker. She was a runner. Wow, look at that. Stretching. Okay, Dr. Scholl's. Very, you know, popular then and now for foot care. Look at sunburns. Oh my gosh. I look at a sunburned face and I think, oh, wrinkles. Wrinkles are going to set in early. I'm all for some sunshine. I really am. But I also know some of the damage when you have sunshine in excess for like tanning. My husband did this once in Mexico. He was sitting and his feet were out in the sun and he burnt the tops of his feet so badly. Hmm. European sleep style of down comforters, Scandia down shops. Panty liners. Okay, and then I think this is it. Just articles. And the last page is Kate, um, Jack, no, 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 Jacqueline Smith. Look at this. This was a very common 80s workout. Um, this is for Max Factor. So, anyway, very common color scheme, makeup, and I used to go to Jazzercise with full makeup on, too. <laughs> so, there we go. 1984. Well, there you have it. A walk down memory lane to 1984. So tell me what your favorite things were. What are your memories of the 80s? I'd love to hear them in the comments. Let me know. Um, <laughs> you might be too young to remember some of these things, or you may remember them very well. So I am happy to see that more diversity is starting because I'm really about inclusivity with not only body types and sizes, but colors, shapes, you know, heights. Oh my anyway, I think the favorite standout thing for me is the fashion. Just that Big, big, voluminous, lots of cloth and clothing. That's my favorite thing. And the makeup. So, well, I'm going to wrap this up. It's been a long blah, blah, blah. A long walk down memory lane. And I hope you enjoyed it. I'm very serious about going out there and spreading good, spreading light. It's easy to be wrapped up in our own day-to-day -day issues, and we all have them. But just remember, when you are out and about, smile at someone. Be someone's reason to smile. Be someone's reason to feel better, even just a little bit. You guys make me feel better so often you have no idea. Your kindness, your support, 
your embracing of me and what I do here is just so heartwarming and it just makes me feel so good. I love every comment you guys make, even if it's just when you send me a heart. So here I am sending a heart back to you and letting you know I appreciate you. So I bid you peace. I bid you wellness. I bid you light. And most of all, I bid you so much love and joy. I will see you very soon in the next video. Goodbye for now.